Good afternoon. I've just finished the old uh, tabbing with 20 kilos on my back. Got myself a proper like backpack, Bergen type thing. And uh, Ben Hawkes told me, I bumped into him the other day um, and he told me to load it up at the bottom with them. Um, if you're on, give us a shout. He told me to load it up at the bottom with polystyrene and stick the weight on the top because it keeps it at the top. So the Bergen I've got was keep it with the weight was kind of like redistributed all up and down my back and then it all dropped towards the bottom again not as much as last week but now i've got sore shoulders here so i need to get some polystyrene put it in the bottom and whack some stuff on top so ben thanks for that anyway what i'm going on what was, hey morning morning tom it's afternoon my lad just been up your way actually um up salisbury hill but I didn't want to pop in for a cup of tea because uh, I was I was on a mission. So sorry about that. Anyway, um, yeah, how, how do you track progress? Okay. Most most people don't, I would say. Um, this comes out of something that I do every every 90 days. I set my goals with my coach. Um, and I make sure the goal is, is something that I care about, okay? Because um, if I don't care about it, why would I, why, why would I want to reach it? Okay, so I set them in relationships, I set them in, um, in fitness, I set them in my business as well. Um, and, I, and I have to care about them, so, so I get to them. And then the way I get to them is, is via a process. So I set a 90 day goal and say, this is what I want. So this, the, my fitness one, okay, is to do the fan dance because it's gonna be hard. <laughs> Some people can do it, wallop, find it easy. Endurance stuff is not my thing. I've done, the, the most I've ever done is, is half marathons in the past. Um, and I'm like a just what well, just sub two hour half marathon guy. That's it. So you know I could probably do better, but it doesn't inspire me. It doesn't make me want to do it. So therefore I don't care about it. So therefore I'll never I'll never get you know I'm not bothered. However, um, carrying a weight around on my back and going for a walk. I like walking, um, but the, it's the same as running. The thing with that is you just have to walk further and further and further and further. And I don't mind going out all day and doing a 25 mile walk or whatever. Um, you know, but when I haven't got the time, it's easy to just strap the weight to your back and go and do that. And I actually quite enjoy it. It gets me out, it gets me in the sunshine, bit of vitamin D, um, you know, and it gets me out and about seeing things. Um, especially on a day like a day, it's absolutely fantastic. So I care about this goal, I want to do it. It'll make me fitter, it puts me out of my comfort zone, which is key. Um, and it proves to me that I can do it. And then I have to be kept accountable because if I don't, if I just say, right, I'm going to do this to myself and don't tell anyone, I could, I could not do it. Nobody would ever know. Um, and then it doesn't matter because I can fail in private. And that's, you know, if I do that, nobody knows and it doesn't matter. And then I disappear. So, you know, my coach knows about it. All the guys in my coaching group know about it. All the guys at BKS know about it. I'm talking about it on here. All my friends know about it. Um, if I don't do it, I'm going to look like a right tit. <laughs> and after a day, the way my traps are, bloody hell. But anyway, I'm, I'm on that. So, yeah. So what about you? How do you measure your progress? At work, in your relationships, whatever. Do you just bumble through week after week, set a goal and then go, right, that's that done, and then just bumble through? And then when you get 90 days down the line or you set a goal a year in advance, which is, you know, so far down the line, how do you know what, what that's going to look like? But if you set a goal so far in advance and then... You get 11 months down the line and go, oh shit, I was meant to start that, wasn't I? Yeah. I'll be back in a second. I'll, I'll show you this. Mm. 
this here. This is what we use at BKS, okay? It's a tracker. So the guys will set goals, they'll set them. Based, it's mainly based around fitness this, but you can do it with anything, and the guys on Bulletproof, um, I get that to do a, I get them to do a, that across all areas, okay? And what we've got is, um, there's two different things. There's a thing here where you write down your wins, three wins a day, Tom will know what I'm talking about, three wins a day, you write down what your win was, why it was a win, what you're going to do about, what the further progress is, and the specific action you're going to do about that, okay? Because if you don't have a specific action, you just go, oh, that was a win, brilliant, bollock, what are you going to do about it? How are you going to take that forwards, okay? That's what we all do at BKS. And then we've got this side, where we write down what we're going to do this week, the one thing you're going to do, what's the one thing you need to do this week to hit your goal? One thing, okay? When are you going to do it by? Why will you do it? Why? That's the massive thing. Why will you do it? Why do you give a shit? Why do you care? And then how are you going to do it? So you've set your 90 day goals, and then you go, right, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do this week to hit it? Okay? And then, every week, we'll look back at last week and go, right, we've got it across three areas for fitness. Actually, I've split it into three areas. Okay? And it's mainly based around mindset, actually, when you look at it. So then you look at it and go, what's my outcome? What's my goal? It's always there, staring at you. This is what my goal is. This is what my goal is. Okay, my camera will be wobbling doing that. But this is what my goal is. Okay, are you on track? Yes or no? What worked well last week? Well, I don't know. Like for me, last week, right, I did 11 miles with 20 kilos on my back. I've never done that before. Never. And I did 11 miles and I felt all right. I was... I was tired. You'll see the vi you'll see the video last week. I was tired, um, but I've never done it before, and it and it was all right. What needs improving? Well, my pack was rubbish. All the weight was at the bottom. Um, I need to be faster. I need to be fitter. That's what needs improving. How am I going to do that? Well, I'll just keep doing it. I'll just keep going, going further, going like today. I went without stopping. I didn't put my pack down at all for for three hours. So. I know that I'm making progress because I look back over last week and go, right, well, last week I needed to buy a new pack, which went into this week. What do I need to do? I need to buy a new pack. I need to load it up properly. So next week, what do I need to do? I need to, I need to load my pack up so the weight is at the top, or more towards the top, so it doesn't pull down on my shoulders, so it doesn't knack. Simple as that. And then I can measure my progress, and then I'll go walking next week. I use the RunKeeper app, which tells me how far... It tells me this week, actually... I didn't stop. Um, there was a there was more ascent in it. I did. I climbed more I, up more, um, but I was still at exactly the same pace as last week. And I stopped last week. I stopped for a rest and a bit of bit of a drink and to take a few photographs and all that sort of stuff. And I still did the same pace this week, but then there was more hills in it. So I need to be faster. So I know that because when I do this the fan dance in t nine weeks time, I I want to try and do it in four hours. I've got no chance in that at the minute. So that's how we track. Simple as that. And then down here, we'll write down what the top three wins were from last over there from last week, and what we're going to do. Simple as that. And everybody on my programs, guys on the online online program, as soon as you sign up for that, you get one of these sent through to you in the post with a little surprise as well. Anyway, so how do you track yours? How do you eat yours? It's cream egg time, isn't it? How do you eat yours? See, so. All the guys are on that. Since I implemented that, everyone's results have gone through the roof. Everyone's done well. Um, and the new guys who've started, who I'll, I'll write an email about them next week, but we've had, oh, we've had four or five new guys online, um, a few new guys down the park. It's, it's, they're, they're all already, one guy, Rob's already said, after a week he's starting to see, he's starting to see results. He was getting a sore back and he doesn't anymore. And he's 60. You know, so... Um, yeah, this is progress. Because I remember, I remember, it was probably, I don't know, what were we in, 2012, probably about seven years ago, six or seven years ago, decided to go for, um, me and my wife, who I was with then, we were, we were, we were going to 
be doing the Cotswolds Way with some friends. So we said, right, we'll do some training for it. We didn't take a backpack or anything. We made sam we made sandwiches, right? Wrapped them in tinfoil and everything. We'll go for a seven mile walk. Seven miles. And we made sandwiches just in case we got hungry. Right? Took bloody energy bars with us and everything just to do seven miles. And we were tired by the end of it. Really tired. That was I was young, that was like oh God, six, six or seven years ago. So I was only 33. Should be able to walk 70 miles uh, seven miles at 33. And that wasn't carrying anything. So I can see that everything I've done for my fitness over the last few years has progressed me quite quite well because I went and just carried 20 kilos last week for, for nigh on 11 miles. Um, just uh, straight off. I've never done that before. So I could only get better at it. So the, the thing I need to do is just every week go out and do a nice long walk. And if I get a chance, I'll do a shorter one as well. So there we go. That's all I need to do. Just track that over the next nine weeks and, I know, and then when I hit it, I know I'll do it because I've done the work. It's as simple as that. Have you done the work or not? Anyway, we're done. I need to eat and then I need to have a shower because I stink. But I'm not as knackered as I was last week. So that's good. So that's progress as well. Anyway, speak soon. <laughs>